I don't want to alarm you guys, but I'm about to drop the most important information of your life ever about Japan. I hope you're sitting down because you're about to find out what's the most expensive bento at a konbini. Family Mart edition. Join me on this journey together to figure this shit out once and for all and see if it's any good. And the top shelf item, or should I say bottom shelf here, is the tonkatsu pork cutlet bento. I'm happy because I love tonkatsu and there's a generous portion of meat here. I'm also really happy because last time I came to Famimai, I got ramen and the ramen had no meat in it and I said it was bad and the ramen konbini stands got super aggro. Anyway, this bento cost a whopping 698 yen, but it's all good because it's treat yourself day. But is the most expensive bento any good? Opening it up and of course we get the tonkatsu pork cutlet with a metric ton of rice on the side, rain down some sweet tonkatsu sauce, and I'll be danged if that isn't a solid pork cutlet. And for the side, we have a beautiful assortment of rolled egg, lotus root, cognac noodles, and look at all the green veg we get. I'm gonna give this tonkatsu bento a tone out of 10. I also had this absolute cutie eyeing me on the train. So overall, this has been a pretty good day.